the wonder perhaps that the teenage Cher was hunting for someone of her own. She found Sonny Bono. Did he play daddy to you, do you think, at the beginning? Oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely. I mean, I was 16, he was 28. I was, you know, out on the street kind of by myself, and he was, he'd been married. He, you know, he was a grown-up. In the beginning, it was absolutely the best of times. It didn't get to be the worst of times until really right before I left him because I was growing up, but he wasn't so interested in that, you know? He, he didn't like grown-up women. He liked younger women. But in Hollywood, even youth and beauty aren't enough. To be exceptional like Cher, it takes more. Some women are and some women aren't. Desirable. Yes. In a well, sexual way. Yes. Are you? <laughs> well, you're, I mean, it's wrong for you to ask me that question. But I did. Okay. Yeah. I think maybe it comes like me on the, on the boat, on the gun. It's not something that you actually control or that you do. Oh, you can height, you can heighten it and you can polish it and you can, you know, blow it up and you can make it larger than it was. But I think that it has to do with certain intrinsic values. And if you were to lose that thing. Well, I'll, I'll never lose it, really. I mean, I might lose it visually, but I, it's never going to change how, what kind of a woman I am. It's a state of mind. Yeah. You either like something or you don't. You either enjoy it or you don't. I guess it's like playing basketball. Or riding a bicycle. Right. And if you were to lose your sexual allure at this point, what would that do to your career? I could honestly be just as happy doing something that isn't quite as, as in the spotlight, but that gives me a lot of pleasure. You know, there's a lot to be said for not being in the spotlight. But... How would you know? Well... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that's true. When Primetime returns, the whole truth about Cher's plastic surgery. They sort of say, make the Michael Jackson analogy, that you've gone too far. Do you feel like you've gone too far? Well... <laughs> Prime Time continues once again. Charles Gibson. If nothing else, Cher tells it like it is, and she's about to be very upfront about all the cosmetic surgery that she's had. Cynthia McFadden continues now with what you always wanted to know about Cher. Some snapshots from the life of a legend. Best moment. Winning the Academy Award. Favorite outfit. Oh, it was an outfit that Bob made for me to wear on the cover of Time magazine. And it was just so spectacular. Repeated mistake. I don't know, because I don't think I repeat too many of the same mistake. I just think of new ones. Not everyone agrees. Some say she has repeated a big mistake, having too much plastic surgery. The tabloids have had a field day with it. If I'd had as much plastic surgery as they, you know, like I've got <laughs> implants and calf implants and cheek implants, I mean. Hair loss expert says Cher going bald. Cher's a plastic surgery junkie. I mean, I've always been great fodder for that grist mill, you know? Maybe because I was really flamboyant, because I didn't hide anything, because when I got my nose and my teeth done, I said it because it didn't occur to me that that would be anything that anybody would even care about. So has she had her ribs removed to make her waist smaller? New cheekbones implanted? So can we just clear up the plastic surgery thing for all time, for sure. the record? No cheek implants. No, I mean, you could see I've had my, the same cheeks my entire life. No butt lift, no ribs removed. You know, on both of my children's lives, I have never even thought about having any ribs taken out. You have had work done on your face. Yeah. But, you know, it's not anything that I 
haven't ever said. They sort of say, make the Michael Jackson analogy that you've gone too far. Do you feel like you've gone too far and, well, <sighs> no, I don't, you know? If I want to put my tits on my back, it's nobody's business but my own, you know? And if people don't like me because of that, well, then that's, I mean, this is America. Do I really feel the way and maybe only in America can a 55-year-old actress who doesn't have a line in her face say she's looking forward to playing old women. Go figure. You know, because I'll be a great old, hysterical, cool old woman. You that's... don't look like an old woman. No, but I mean, I'm not talking about today, but I'm talking about in the, you know, in the future. Yeah, but they have wrinkles. Well, I, I'm going to have wrinkles real soon. Well, you'll see. Other share moments. Way in which you're most misunderstood. Maybe that I'm loose. If you've dressed the way I've dressed, people have a tendency to think that you're stupid or cheap or floozy. I'm not any of those things. Do you ever eat to your heart's content? Yeah. Lots of time. Last night, I went to Jack in the Box. I had two Jack tacos, a chocolate shake, and onion rings. And it was great. Happiest day. Oh, once when I was in Tahiti with my kids, and we were on a log in the ocean, and we were doing a seesaw back and forth. The kids. Chastity, famous before kindergarten. Do you think it's been hard to be your daughter? Yeah, I think it's hard to be. I think it's hard for both of them. And Elijah Blue. 25-year-old son with Greg Allman. I mean, they have had a great life and a horrible life, you know? But in life, you get what you get, you know? And then you make something out of it. Back to the snapshots. Worst day. Sonny's death. Role model. Catherine Hepburn. Best feature? My brain. Worst feature? My brain. Thing about yourself you'd change? My brain. Advice? No. My mother also said, if you're going to steal something, make sure it's big. Ever stolen anything? Uh, eyelashes. <laughs> Tell her to steal big, she'll steal small. And that seems about right. She doesn't really follow anyone else's path. She's an original. What do you know for sure? That the truth is the most important thing and kind of is the thing that lives forever. Drums keep pounding a rhythm to the brain. The little girl without a daddy who never graduated from high school created a persona that has galloped through four decades and shows no signs of stopping. Yes, the beat goes on, and the beat goes on, and the beat goes on, the beat goes on. Cher is expected to go on tour this summer, possibly for the last time. She wants instead, she says, to concentrate on her film career and is scheduled next to do a musical remake of Auntie Mame. We'll be right back.